this going to be a stand-up fight, sir, or another bug hunt? This is definitely a bug hunt. But uh, we're being invaded. This is an invasion that's uh, been 17 years in the making. The, the cicadas are here. You can hear them all around you. They're just quiet up here. There's a guy cutting his lawn over there, unfortunately, but you should be quiet. You can hear them. They are loud. Now, we haven't seen any yet. We're looking around to see if we can find them. Hi. We're, we're filming the cicadas. Is that okay? Okay. I would have knocked on your door, but it would have been weird. <laughs> Thank you. There they are, folks. 17 years. Let's take a look and see here. You want to take the camera, Andy? Let's see what this guy is. He's pretty lively. Got him on the screen. Let's see what we got here. This is right. a male. You know what? I think this may be female. I can tell because there's no timbal organ. Let's see what the other one is here. Put him down here. I'll take this guy here. Here, old fella. Take that one. Let's see what this one is here. You hear him in the tree right above us. There's a timbal organ right there. See it? See that white thing right there? But the males are the ones that actually make the noise. And they are all over the place. This is actually Downingtown, Pennsylvania. But these are all over the north, I'm sorry, southeastern part of Pennsylvania and going a little bit farther west. Some parts of Tennessee, Kentucky, I believe, and, and down south on the east coast, I believe they're, they're prevalent down there. But uh, they began coming out around here about two, three weeks ago. We began seeing them all over the trees. And uh, they're definitely here now. They are making some noise. Pretty cool. Now, this is called Brood 10, or Brood X is what they've been calling it. Only, any, only every 17 years. Wow, it just the sound is so so loud. It's all around us. They they said they're said to be as loud as 85 decibels. That's about as loud as a tractor trailer going down the road at full speed. But it's loud. Oop, he's calling up my shirt here. Come here. They have wings as you can see, but they seem to have limited flight capability. Maybe just enough to fly from tree to tree. Now what they'll do is they'll climb up in the tree. And they'll do their mating. That's what the call is all about. They're attracting the females. Once they mate, the females lay their eggs in the tree. And then the trees, uh, the eggs hatch. You can see them flying around over there from tree to tree. Put your camera over there. I just saw one fly from one tree to the other. Now when the eggs hatch, the little nymphs will drop down out of the tree, and burrow into the ground, and then feed on the tree roots, they feed on the sap on the tree roots for 17 years and then will come out again and the whole process starts again. The scientists are not really sure how they know to come out in 17 years, but they're definitely accurate every 17 years. Now they, they, they theorize, that maybe, theorize that maybe they feed on the tree roots and kind of monitor the seasons with the sap waning and waxing, whoop, you just flew over on Andy there waning and waxing on the tree roots and they, they can know that way that 17 years have passed and it's time for them to come out. They only, only live them for about a month. So they're going to be around here for probably until mid-June and then that'll be it. They'll all die and then the whole process starts again in 17 years. Now, the cicadas come out, depends on your location. If you're a little bit farther south, they come out a bit sooner but around here they're coming out Oh, like mid-May, they started coming out. Uh, it's when the soil temperature reaches 64 degrees. Now, the nymphs are buried down about 18 inches, maybe a little bit further in the ground. And when that temperature hits 64 degrees, that's when they know to come up out of the soil and then start the, the process that we see here today. So definitely worth getting this on video. They are just so loud. They are all over here. Now, they seem relatively localized. 
Uh, certain neighborhoods around here are just loaded with them, like this neighborhood here. Our neighborhood where I live is not terribly far from here, but we have none. Other neighborhoods, have, other neighborhoods have some. Now, we're actually here in a residential neighborhood. I just talked to the owner of the house, and he's okay with us being here. Uh, but they seem to be more prevalent right here in the residential neighborhoods than they are in the wooded sections. As they come out, they hatch out of the shells, just like you do with your the normal cicadas that you, we have around here in the summertime, in the late July. There's, oh, here's a guy. He's coming out of the shell. Look at that. He's hatching right out. He's almost out. And there's one that's, that's coming out also. And there's one here that just came out probably a little while ago. You can see his wings are a little bit underdeveloped yet. They need to have the air to, to, to completely dry the wings out so they develop so they can obtain flight capability. Again, you can see the shells. And these are all over, all over the trees here in this neighborhood. They climb up on the trees. I've even seen them on telephone poles. You can hear them in the trees right above us. They're actually in this tree right here. They seem to favor, this is not a maple tree here, but they seem to favor the, uh, the maple trees. I guess this may be the... With the sap and the roots is what they favor. All right, folks, that'll do it for this video from Bug Infested Downing Town. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you do enjoy the content on this channel, don't hesitate to subscribe. And if you do subscribe, remember to hit that bell notification as the bugs fly all around me and on me here. All right, folks, take care. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.